But who is chosen is the question. And we will bring Son it of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Set up the watchmen mean put the nation in order. Native American, one part white man. This don't make sense. 
That's called confusion. Listen to what God is saying. The Lord gave. Come on. The book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Come on. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Come on. And they declared their pedigrees. Stop. They declared their pedigree, meaning they declared their family lines. Come on. After their families by the house of their fathers. By the house of what? Their fathers. By the house of their fathers. So now me, right? My father is from where? He's from the Caribbean islands, right? So let's start, let's say from there. We know it goes back further. I'm just saying, right? Tribe of Benjamin, right? So let's say we start there. Now my children, their mother could be a white woman. What tribe are they from? Benjamin. Exactly. So it doesn't matter who the mother is. It only matters where the seed is coming from. If you take an apple seed, plant it here in America, plant one in China, plant one in Russia, and one in Jamaica, it's going to be an apple tree. It's not going to be anything different. That's why we have to do what? Reform our minds. You understand? You know what that's you know what that said? Give me that. That's what the Bible tells us. That's what being born again means. Not going to church and, and, and sitting up in the church and singing and then saying, oh, I'm born again. I'm so saved in the blood of Jesus. No, that's that's not born again. Listen to this. Come on. The book of 2nd Astros, chapter 14 and verse 34. Come on. Therefore. If so be that you will subdue your own understanding. You have to subdue your own understanding. That goes for everybody, not just you, but I don't want to point, point you out. But every person who's learning, just like us when we came in, we have to subdue what we thought. Many of us have been to college with degrees and this and that, and we're saying, wait a minute, this doesn't sound like according to what I was taught. That's why the Lord said, subdue your own thinking. Lean on me now. Let me show you what it is. Come on. And reform your hearts. Reform your heart. Your heart in the Bible is your mind. Get that. Okay, precept must be upon precept. That's what the Bible is about. That's how come when people read the Bible, they don't understand it. Because the Lord has to give you that instruction to go from one place to the next place to the next place to prove <laughs> the points. All right, come on. The book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 21. Come on. For from within, out of the heart of men, from, hold on, for from within, out of the hearts of men, come on. Proceed evil thought. Where does your thoughts come from? Where does your thoughts come from? What your mind. Your mind. Your mind. Your brain. Right? So when it says the heart, it's talking about your mind. Meaning what? We're showing you how the Bible does what? Define itself. So when you read it now, you're not getting confused. But you're not going to know that unless you know the other part over in Mark. You understand what I'm saying? All right. So now, give me Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. It was something that that the uh, captain brought out earlier when he was teaching. And it, I caught on to it and I said, you know what? <laughs> this is what this whole thing is about. Read that. The book of Hosea. Chapter 4 and verse 1. Come on. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. That's you. You so-called blacks, you so-called Hispanics, Native American Indians, this book is talking about you. You are the real Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. Hey. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Come on. Because there is no truth, no mercy, oh. nor knowledge of God in the land. Because there's no mercy or truth or knowledge of God in the land. Why is that, brother? What is truth? When you hear when a brother brought out truth? I came, you came a little bit later, right? This is when I met. You met this brother here. And he sat there and gave me the paper. And then you bounced and came back, right? You seen the brother speak before. Check this out. Check this out. We're going to show you something. What, what that really what that really talking about. What you got, bro? I have a question about the Apocrypha. I wanted to right get Right after that. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to do this. Hold it. Don't forget it. Got me? Yeah. Come on, bro. That's all right. Come on. Take your time. Come on. Psalms chapter 119 verse 142 Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is 
the truth. And thy law is the truth. The Lord said there's no mercy nor law in the land or truth in the land. Meaning what? There's no laws in the land. There's no law out here. We don't keep the laws of God. Do you understand? This is part of what's happening. Jump to 151. Psalms 119, verse 151. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. And all thy commandments are truth. So, brother, when you find out you're an Israelite, you have to do what now? Come back and you got to start keeping the laws of God. We're going to start bringing some of those out. Okay? But what, we, what I wanted to focus on was the mercy and the truth. Give me John 117 and I'm coming to you. All right? Listen to this, brother. You believe in Jesus? I did. You did. I no longer do. You believe in Jesus? I became once a Pentecostal, but I left the Lord. So you do not believe in Jesus? I know you that do. he's a historical. Yes or no? I don't like to use the word believe because I studied that that word is false to self. That, that, that the word believe. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That actually the word believe from what I studied when I broke it down in half because there's words just let you know inside of the word. So you understand what I'm saying? Like, the word believe, if you really break it down the path, believe, if you really look at it, it really means being, because being, -E, being, L-I-E, a lot, and E, E, B, E, -E or whatever means being a liar who is evil. Okay, in English, what does it mean in Spanish? What is, what is the word believe in Spanish? I don't, I, I don't know. So in Spanish, believe would mean something else. Because Spanish is a backwards language. I'm asking you a question. In Spanish, with the word, with, the, with that term, you just go express. Would it mean the same thing in Spanish? Because yes, it's no. a backward language, yes, it would. No, no, it would not, because what you have is called transliteration. The word believe is coming from another word. English is not the first language on the planet Earth. Alright? So the word believe is coming from another term that meant that same thing. So don't go into that, brother. Gonna, I'm going to show you the definition but of the Spanish, word. Um, Spanish is oh, a copycat of the English language. It's just backward. Uh, it's just backward. Let's, let's not go there. Let's not go there. That's, that's bad. What you got? Nope. Now, yeah, that, that's a good one. Hold that now. But give me what I want. I'll show you something. John 117. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 17. For the law was given by Moses. For the law was given by Moses. In the Old Testament, Moses gave the law. But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. So now it said grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. What a
There's no however. Wait, 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 One second, I gotta speak. I gotta deal with this brother real quick. Come on. You had a question. I'm gonna get back to this, bro. I have a question about the Apocrypha that, from what I studied, that the Apocrypha came out of, maybe you heard of it, that it came out of originally the uh, Alexander manuscripts, no, which, were, which was in Egypt because uh, Alexander conquered Egypt, basically, and that he made his own horse doctrine. That is Wait, false. I'm going to prove it to you that it's false. Let me do Let me prove Are you it to aware you. of it? No. I'm going to prove it to you that it's false. Uh, give me... Hold that. You're using this one. Give me John chapter 8 and verse 22, 10 and verse 22. I want you to listen to this. You studying the Bible at all? I'm, Have you studied the Bible at all? I've studied in the past. Okay, let's The book of John! Chapter 10, verse 22. And it was at Jerusalem the feast of the dedication. Right, so it was at the Jerusalem the feast of the dedication. Come on. And it was winter. And it was winter. So this was Jesus Christ. He was going to the feast of dedication. Where can you find the feast of dedication? Because when you look in the Bible, they have all of the feasts written down in the Old Testament. Like that. Where do you find the feast of dedication? But isn't Hanukkah supposed to be a knockoff? One second, brother. I don't want you to say anything else. I want you to answer that question. Where do you find the feast of dedication in the Bible? Aside from this, because Christ is now observing it. He's celebrating it. So the question is, where did it come from? Where was it written in the Bible? Okay, Old Testament. Okay, okay. But, but I see where you're going. You're saying all of those different, right. all of those different feasts. It should be amongst that, right? Okay. The answer to that is no. The, ho the holy contemplation is what I'm saying. No. The feast of dedication is found in the apocrypha. So now Christ, remember, he read the entire Bible. I'm it was about the Old Testament. You have to they... listen closely, brother. Jesus the Christ was celebrating a holiday or high holy day that was only came up during the time of the Greeks. That's when it was established. But what month? Wasn't it supposed to be in April in the springtime? What? Okay, first of all, you're talking about Passover. Oh, yeah, I'm That's not the point. Your point was, where did the Apocrypha come from? You said Alexander said it. I'm telling you Alexander didn't say it. Are you aware of also of... You're not dealing with what you brought out, bro. No, 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 no. We didn't deal with the first one. But, we didn't deal with the first one. So we didn't deal... We didn't deal with this. Jesus Christ was dealing... He could not have been reading anything that Alexander the Greek set up, bro. That's what you're telling me. I'm telling you that the Feast of the Dedications came out of the Apocrypha, which was written by the Israelites. Period. Alexander the Great, or the Greek, would never have written this book because in this book, he is condemned with everybody else. Read to me the book of Matthew chapter 1 and verse 9. I'm going to show you something, bro. Yeah. This is going to let you know if Alexander wrote this. I'm bringing it out to your edification. I'm not angry with you. I'm just reading it for your edification. Come on. Starting now. The book of verse Seven. Maccabees chapter 1 verse 7. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. So Alexander the Greek is written inside the Bible. It said that he was what? He reigned for 12 years and then he died. Of what? Syphilis or some sexual disease? This is, what, killed him this is what history, whatever, right? Come on. And his servants bear rule over everyone in his place. Right, so his servants were his four generals, right? He gave one Egypt, he gave one uh, Asia Minor, different areas, and they held it down. Read. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. Right, so let me not say that. They, the whole place was divided up. It said they put crowns on themselves. But you take Egypt, you take such and such, I'm going to take such and such. They put crowns on themselves. They started to move their heads. Read. So did their sons after them. Right, so now they took over the entire world. It's basically the same for generations, read. Many years and evils were more. 
say that you were evil and all your people are evil. Exactly. He didn't write this. Okay? And not only that, but the Maccabees links up 100% with the book of Daniels. Okay? You read that, you're going to understand. What is your next question? Okay, so my next question is, are you aware of a so-called, they, they call themselves a group of Israelites that, okay, the 70 who left Jesus. Okay, are you aware of the 70 brothers who left Jesus that they call themselves, I don't know if you've ever heard of them, have you seen them? Are you aware of that? What about it? Okay, but we see that they left Jesus. That they left Jesus, you know, okay. and that they made their own revelational doctrine, and that later on, bottom line period, that was supposed to be their apocalypse, their revelation, okay, so it's an and, that, okay. and that the Catholic Church took that, and then they manuscripted okay. the Okay, so, so, so now, so now let me ask you, now let me ask you another question. Let me ask you a question. You, you, you're supposed to be an intelligent man, right? Right? I just read to you, first you said that Alexander the Great and his people wrote, or had, well he had it written. I showed you, hold on, I showed you that Alexander, not only is he in the Bible, right, but then it could not have been him who wrote it because it talked about all the evils him and his people did. I brought that out. And I showed you Christ celebrated the uh, Feast of Dedication, which was written in the Apocrypha. So now let me ask you the question. How could 70 of Christ's apostles have written the Apocrypha when they were not alive nowhere during that time. Nowhere during that time of Christ was alive. Christ was not alive during the time during, during the apocryphal period. Not at all. I'm talking about when Jesus was alive, the 70 brethren who left him. What 70 that, brethren who left him? Where did you get this information? In the New Testament. The New Testament, they, they left him? And they left him when he told them. Oh, would you eat of my flesh? And it, so what? They, yes, would you eat of my, um, my flesh and drink of my blood? They left him and did what? They created something? They created their own. Where did you get that information? That basically. Where did you get the information? Where did you get that information? How do you know for 70? The Bible used the word 120. Are you getting 70? You know what's hard. Listen, read that. Let me give you the answer. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 12. And further by these, my son, be admonished be warned, of, be corrected, come on. of making many books. Of making many books, come on. There is no end and much study. Listen, there is no end of all the books of the earth, come on. And much study, much study. is a weariness to the flesh. And much studies are wearing these to the flesh. Because guess what? You're running around reading this, that, this, that. You're mixed up. That's why we're coming back to do what? To help you straighten your mind out. Because you're saying the 70 apostles that left them. But nowhere did it say 70 apostles left them. Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. We're going to hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Come on. Fear God. Do what? Fear God. Fear God. Honor. And his commandments. And keep his commandments. And the brother said honor. Because fear, that sounds like he's groveling to the most high. Oh yeah, you're gonna bend down. You're gonna bend down. You know why? That's why the Lord said that he's the king of terrors, bro. Because you don't know when what? The judgment is coming. You don't know when it's coming. That's why you gotta fear the Lord and keep his commandments. You see, for instance, I'm gonna tell you how do you fear the white man? No. Do you fear the system of America? Here you go. Weapons. Huh? Weapons. The weapons? weapons? Okay, so let me ask you a question. Are you a rich man? No. If I came to you and said, listen, we can make money doing a certain little scheme. Nobody's gonna get hurt. We're gonna do credit card scheme. I'm a hacker. I'm gonna hack into these certain accounts. We're gonna pull out certain money. We're gonna build ourselves up. What you doing? To make money, I guess. You would. Right. So the, 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 the understanding now is that if we get caught, what's going to happen? We go to justice. Right. What are you concerned about that? They don't want it to hold it up. Well, you they would be concerned about it. But, okay, so if I tell you to do a stick up right here, pull a gun and grab and get somebody for money, would you do it? That guy has 
Shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.